Dash Dabrowski here, and right now we are looking at an extremely hypocritical post made by Colorado's radical congresswoman, Lauren Boebert. So I will not waste any more of your time. Let's just pull up that tweet. Here she goes, quote, hardworking Americans are sick of carrying the load for everyone else. Stop the anti-work welfare incentives for able-bodied citizens and stop flooding our schools, healthcare facilities, and law enforcement with illegal aliens, blah, 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 anti-immigrant rant. But if you guys notice there, she talks about stopping the anti-work welfare incentives. So let's pull up a tweet from Lauren Boebert in 2020. Boom, here it goes. Quote, I'm living the American dream. I came up from welfare, standing in line waiting for government cheese, to now running for Congress. Let's keep radical socialists out of the government so that people can be empowered to lift themselves out of poverty rather than wait on the government, says the woman who was lifted out of poverty by the government. Look, there's nothing wrong with getting a little help from the government when we are in need. That is the entire point of a government, to help the citizenry live a prosperous life. So Lauren Boebert, who slams welfare in 2023, is a product of the welfare system. In fact, she doesn't realize it, but that is the only reason why she is in Congress today. And just a final note to Lauren Boebert, healthcare is not welfare. Healthcare is a human right in most other countries across the globe and probably would be in America if not for the Republican Party. By the way, I'd still like to see her face some accountability for her alleged role in the insurrection. So there you have it, guys. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you next time.